Ji, would you like to ask Sanjeev Bhikshanani, would you like to ask a follow-up question given all of your experience in the area of employment and education? Uh, so, one, uh, one problem that is faced in uh, the higher education sector in India is that uh, you have a situation where the best business schools uh, are producing managers who are very highly paid and they work for multinationals like overseas. Uh, yet the education is state subsidized. Uh, I think one of the suggestions that came here was that look, uh, if, if you can have a model where uh, education is charged for at its fair price, fair cost, from the student who can afford it, financially is given to those who can't. Uh, in areas where uh, the, the, the graduate will get a salary that is really world class, then perhaps that money is better utilized for helping poorer students. Can be considered. It should be considered. Okay, sir. This question is Akashnath Garg from Amity University. Akashnath Garg from Amity University. Where is Akash? There he is. Akashnath Garg. His question is: Why is it so difficult for the youth of the country? to be able to approach their elected representatives, MPs and MLAs. Very difficult to reach them and many of them don't have any uh, email or any easy way for citizens to be able to talk to them about their problems. email <laughs> use in fact, we have also done training classes and we have also done it. But accessibility is not necessarily related to technology. Accessibility is an attitude of mind. Yes, but I will keep it in mind. Maybe you should come up with some innovative approach and send it to us and we will try and work on that. But it's a great question. अच्छा ये जो प्रश्न है अभिषेक कुमार दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय से है यदि भाजपा की सरकार बन जाती है तब आप किस प्रकार से युवाओं के रोजगार की व्यवस्था का प्रयत्न करेंगे रोजगार की बहुत गुंजाइश है हिंदुस्तान में खास करके गांवों में जाने को लोग तैयार हैं और वैसे तो कोशिश ये भी होनी चाहिए कि गाँव में शहर के लोग जाए उसके बजाय गाँव के ही लोगों को वहाँ पर रोजगार मिले और इस दृष्टि से ट्रेडिंग की व्यवस्था कितनी मात्रा में हम करवा सके वो करवानी चाहिए The next question comes from Das Sudhir Kumar, IIT Delhi. Das Sudhir Kumar, okay. Das's question is sir, why are we unable to attract our country's best brains and best minds towards research and development? Because without it, the country cannot become a superpower. That's true. Gradually, things are uh, moving in the right direction, but uh, a lot needs to be done so far as research is concerned. In fact, yesterday I had occasion to address a co conference of uh, uh, Vaidyas, higher Vedic conference, and where I said that सबसे कमी बड़ी कोई है इस क्षेत्र में इस चिकित्सा पद्धति में तो शोध बंद हो गया रिसर्च है स्टॉप उसको जितना विकसित कर सके करें एक अब एक दो यूनिवर्सिटीज है आयुर्वेद की एक गुजरात में है कल मेरा गुजरात में ही कार्यक्रम ओके थैंक यू यू हैव सेंट अस वेरी मेनी क्वेश्चंस आई स्टिल हैव मेनी क्वेश्चंस ह but our time is short and so I will now have to ask uh, the last question uh, to Mr. Edwani and uh, I think being uh, a sports fan you will enjoy this question a great deal. It's from Shubham Mukherjee from the International Management Institute. Shubham Mukherjee, yeah, please. Shubham's question sir is, India won three medals in the recent Olympics and in the last Olympics India won only a single medal. Being a country with over one billion population, how are we going to improve our performance uh, in Olympics and other sporting endeavors. धीरे धीरे कर रहे हैं बड़ी मुश्किल से एक मिला है। मुझे याद है कि हम जब स्कूल में थे तो एक रुचि का खेल मेरे लिए होता था हॉकी और उसमें हमेशा गोल्ड मेडल लेते थे। 
उसके बाद भी गोल्ड मेडल जीते रहे कभी कभी हॉकी में लेकिन इंडिविजुअल गोल्ड मेडल पहली बार लेना सब कुछ एक कमेंट है और खास करके इसलिए भी है कि जब बीच में कोई गोल्ड मेडल नहीं मिलता था लेकिन हम चेस में जीतते थे सब लगता था कि ये बुद्धिमान देश है इसमें कोई शारीरिक शक्ति की जरूरत नहीं फॉर इनेबलिंग एवरी वन टू अवेज ऑफ इट